G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds everyone well. Today's video is a quick look at how to bring in images and work with them as smart objects within Adobe Photoshop. Now, I've created a video previously around the benefits of working with smart objects and their flexibility. Uh, but today I wanted to look at the multiple ways uh, that you can actually get an image into Photoshop and then work with it as a smart object because there is a couple of different ways to do it. The first way that we're going to do is have a look at through Adobe Camera Raw. So as you can see, I've got an image here in Adobe Camera Raw uh, and it's a raw image. And uh, I've made some adjustments to the image and uh, I now want to open it with in Photoshop as a camera raw image. Now if we go down to the bottom right hand corner you can see that there's a little drop down box here with open object. Now if we just hit that little drop down arrow we've got the option there to open as an object and if we click on that option you'll see that it will in fact open the image within Adobe Photoshop as a smart object. And the way that we can tell that is we, if we have a look at our layers uh, tab up here on the top right hand corner, just in that little thumbnail preview in the corner there you can see a little icon and that indicates that the image is in fact a smart object. Now if you can't see your layers tab just head up to windows and make sure layers is ticked. The second method of having an image available as a smart object to work with in Adobe Photoshop is simply by clicking and dragging on the image or importing it and dropping it directly onto a canvas uh, that you have already set up within Photoshop. And if we just click and drop that, you can see it uh, roughly resizes to the size of the canvas. Now it is a different uh, ratio of canvas uh, in terms of sizing. But if we have a look over at our Layers tab again, you can see that that image has actually been dropped in directly on top of that canvas as a smart object. Now the resolution of this image is much bigger than the canvas but you can see that the overall constraints and uh, size of the image have been brought in to match uh, the shortest edge on this uh, particular file or this particular canvas within Photoshop and it's automatically created that as a smart object. Now if we were just to click and drag that image into Photoshop and have it up on the top tab there, you can see it actually isn't a smart object. So it's very important to distinguish that uh, when you're working with a blank canvas, this may be in a design scenario, is to actually click and drag the image in and drop it directly on that canvas. And then you'll see with that image layer, with that little icon there, uh, that it is indeed a smart object. The third and final way for this video to bring an image into Photoshop and have it available as a smart object is when you have the image, we're just going to click and drag it in so that it's on a separate tab. You can see that that is not a smart object currently. Uh, we're also going to go back to our canvas and we're just going to delete that image. And what we're going to do now is we're going to grab that image that is not a smart object. It's just been brought in as a JPEG and we're going to click and drag it onto our canvas. Now currently it is a different bit depth so which is why you get this warning. Uh, do we want to proceed? Yes we do. And yes, we do. So the source as a JPEG is sRGB. Destination is Adobe RGB. Yes, we do for the sake of demonstration with this particular image. We're going to go back to that canvas. And you can see it's dropped in the image as the full size as what it is uh, within this particular canvas. Now what we want to do is resize that but it's not currently a smart object and it's very important to remember that with a non-smart object if it's an image and you reduce the size of that image on the canvas you are losing quality. So before we make any adjustments to size to our layout what we're going to do is pop up to the layer that is that image we're going to right click and we're going to convert and we're going to convert to a smart object. And you can see that icon has now appeared uh, on that thumbnail. All right, so we're just going to click and drag. We're going to hit Control T, Command T for Mac users. And we're just going to click and drag that image so that it fits within the canvas that we have set up currently. There we go. All right, and remembering being a smart object, we can reduce the size of that particular image to anything we want and we have no dramas in resizing it back up to full size or oversize because as a smart object we don't lose any quality. 
So that's the three methods that you can have an image available as a smart object to work with uh, within Adobe Photoshop. Hope this video has been helpful. Thanks always for stopping by. And as always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. We look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.